Nothing too exotic on this table. An extra large egg, mayonnaise, my favorite Dijon mustard, Old Bay seasoning, fresh parsley, Tabasco for a little heat, some Worcestershire sauce, salt, and white pepper will give it a nice zing. And of course, our culinary reserve super lump crab meat and Pepperidge Farm white bread. This is my secret ingredient for this recipe. It's gonna give it a pillowy, soft texture in the middle. So let's start with the bread. We'll remove the crust, as if you were making me a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Cut it into thin strips, then small cubes. Let's make our base mixture. I call it a glue, because it's what's gonna hold all of our crab cake together. One egg beaten, mayonnaise, Dijon. By the way, I do love this mild brand of mustard, but you can sub any brand that you like. Old Bay seasoning, this gives it that traditional Maryland crab cake flair. Fresh parsley, and let's bring in some heat. Then there's, what's this here sauce? I mean Worcestershire sauce, you get it. Kosher salt and white pepper. Add your bread cubes, and again, this will soften the mix. Fold gently, don't mix too hard. Now the star of the show, open the can, and we're gonna squeeze out any excess moisture by pushing on the lid of the can. Now gently break up the crab meat. Just look at those beautiful lumps of crab meat. Let's combine the crab with the base mix. Fold this in carefully and gently so you don't break up any of those large pieces of meat. Cover and chill for at least one hour or even up to two to three days ahead of time. Time to form our cakes. I'll admit it, I'm a bit of a pack rat. I reuse things in the kitchen all the time. I save small cans so that I can use them to mold burgers and cakes and things. This was a four ounce can of red curry paste. Why throw it away? Or of course, you could use a standard measuring cup. A half cup measure equals a four ounce cake. Having a cocktail party? Baking mini crab cakes are always a hit. Simply spray your sheet pan and form 24 small one ounce balls. Use a heaping tablespoon as a guide to portion these to one ounce. Chill and bake when you're ready. Simply pat each cake into the panko crumbs. Patty pat pat, done. If we're going to go all in on restaurant style crab cakes, we'll need to learn how to pan fry these cakes. Pan frying will produce a crispy exterior with a pillowy soft interior. Heat your canola oil over medium high heat. Cook until golden brown on each side, about two minutes or so. You're just trying to achieve this beautiful color and crust because then we're taking the whole pan and all and going right into the oven to finish cooking these babies. Little chef tip, set a timer. Out of sight means out of mind. Dipping sauce, not optional, but let's keep it simple. Some mayonnaise, and again, my favorite Dijon mustard. Maybe they should make me like the brand ambassador. Cha-ching! Probably not. Anyway, add some heat, Sprinkle in some sunshine, zest, and juice, and you can't go wrong with a little fresh chopped parsley. Look at these cakes. Truly a 
thing of beauty. And look at this. The party just got upgraded to VIP. Bring on the mini crab cakes. Guaranteed to bring smiles.